Hello, my fellow wizards. Today I want to take a look at the new Wallaroo bundles that released recently and figure out whether they're worth your money or not. KI has announced three bundles, each available only for a limited time with different price points and contents depending on which one you buy. For some quick background, these bundles seem to follow a pattern that started with Novus, where to celebrate the launch of the new world, KI released similar limited time bundles which gave membership, crowns, a pet, a mount, and a furniture item depending on the tier. This time around though, we're getting the Wallaroo bundles well before the launch of Wallaroo itself, which feels a bit weird, but my guess is that maybe the developers are trying to build hype ahead of the release. Taking a look at the actual bundles, there's the bronze bundle for $14.95, the silver bundle for $45, and the gold bundle for $99. So there's already an interesting change because KI is offering much cheaper bundles compared to the Novus ones, which started at $49 and went up to an eye-watering $129 for the highest tier bundle, which was only available for 48 hours. I can only assume that KI wanted a less expensive $15 bundle to start with to be more accessible to the player base and different price points because I know there was some criticism about the cost for the Novus bundles. But the real question is, are these Wallaroo bundles actually worth buying? Starting with the bronze bundle for $14.95, you get 2,500 crowns, a one month membership, and a wombat beanie hat. So normally without a crown sale, 2,500 crowns is about $5 and a one month membership is about $10. There are some 50% off one month membership sales that rotate fairly often, so best case you can get one month membership for $5 instead of 10. Then there's the Wombat Beanie. Obviously, we can't know how KI would normally price this if it was available on its own in the crown shop, but we can compare it to similar items. The one that comes to mind are the Bunny Ears, which was temporarily available during the Spring Festival this year. They cost 1,250 crowns to buy, which is about $2.50. I think we can safely assume that the Wombat Beanie would probably be priced somewhat similarly, maybe between $2 to $5 overall. So if we add up all those individual pieces, we're looking at a price tag of roughly between $12 to $20, depending on whether you get a one month membership sale or not. So the $14.95 they're asking for is actually right smack dab in the middle, which means it's a pretty fair price for what you get. So if you really like the exclusive Wombat hat and we're planning on getting a one month membership or some crowns anyway, then this is a fairly decent bundle for you. Moving on to the silver bundle for $45, you get 5,000 crowns, a six month membership, the exclusive little devil pet, and the wombat beanie. So this one is surprising because you're actually saving money right off the bat. A normal six month membership on its own is $49.95, which is already greater than the cost of the entire bundle without even counting the extras, so this is actually a pretty good deal. On top of that, 5,000 crowns normally cost $10, and new exclusive pets in the crown shop usually range from 1,500 to 5,000 crowns, so between $3 to $10 each. Finally, there's the Wombat Beanie for an additional $2 to $5 value, so overall, the individual items add up to about $65 to $75, so with the bundle price, you're saving anywhere from $20 to $30 total, which is pretty awesome. I do want to talk about the Little Devil Pet more, since it may be one of the more controversial items in the bundles. This pet is exclusive, which means unless you already own it by buying the bundle, you cannot hatch for it or share it with your friends, which is kind of a bummer. We've seen more and more exclusive pets pop up over the years, and it's frustrating that the only way to get access to the pet is if you pay $45 minimum for the silver bundle. Many people are avid pet collectors and may feel pressured to fork over a lot of money just to get one pet, so I do wish there were other ways to get exclusive pets or that the idea of exclusive pets didn't exist in the first place. Let me know what you think in the comments, but just be aware of this before you buy. Looking at the pet itself, the design is pretty cool. I haven't seen the pet myself because obviously it's exclusive, but according to previous data mining, it's a myth pet which gives two Splash Quatch item cards, one at Baby and one at Epic, so I could definitely see people wanting this if they don't otherwise have access to that spell. Again, it just sucks this pet is gated behind a $45 minimum price tag because I think a lot of people would want it for looks alone. Anyway, looking overall at the silver bundle, you're getting a ton of great savings by buying this bundle, and it's definitely worth the price tag for savings on the six month membership alone, with the rest just added bonuses on top. Finally, let's look at the highest tier gold bundle for $99. Obviously, for that price tag, you better be getting a lot of great stuff. It contains 13,750 crowns, a one year membership, the little devil pet, the wombat beanie, and finally, the Outback Rover mount. Okay, so let's break this down. 13,750 crowns is normally $25, and a one-year membership is usually about $80, except for special sales when it can go as low as $60 for the year. As stated previously, we can estimate that the Little Devil Pet is probably valued between $3 to $10, and the Wombat Beanie between $2 to $5. Finally is the Outback Rover Mount. I do think the truck looks pretty cool overall and definitely fits the Wallaroo theme, but I was slightly disappointed to see that it's essentially a reskin of the same truck mount we've had for a couple different seasonal events. 
Obviously, it's not quite the same, but it's pretty dang close, which makes the $99 price tag that much harder to swallow. It's frustrating that this mount is only available in the highest tier bundle with the highest price tag, and it isn't even that unique. Making matters worse, according to some posts on Reddit, the mount is a single person mount only, which seems crazy because it's a truck and all the other similar truck mounts are all four passenger mounts. So I don't know why this one would be any different. Like looking at pictures, it seems like there's a lot of room back in there. So I'm not sure why it wouldn't be at least a two passenger mount minimum. Basic one person permanent mounts usually go for about 7,500 crowns in the crown shop and the Yuletide parade truck for reference sales for just under 10,000 crowns but it is a four passenger mount. So I'm going to estimate this mount on its own would probably cost between 15 to $20 to buy. So if we add up the individual pieces in this bundle, we arrive at roughly a total value of $105 to $140, depending on membership sales and pricing. So even at the lower end, you're saving at least a few dollars by buying the bundle at $99. However, getting the mount behind such a high price tag is definitely not ideal. And considering it's essentially a reskin of other mounts, you'll wanna take that into consideration before buying the gold bundle. Another thing to factor into every single one of these bundles is that not everyone uses membership. For crowns only players who have already bought all the world areas, the memberships may hold little to no value at all. I think KA is probably trying to push players toward buying memberships over purchasing areas with crowns because it nets them more profit in the long run, but it's disappointing to see there's not much consideration for crowns players in these bundles. An easy fix might be to offer the membership or the equivalent cost in crowns for players to pick from, but obviously that's not what they went with. I know another concern with the previous Novus bundles back in the day was that purchasing the different tiers would cancel your current membership renewal, which screwed up many players who have their membership set to renew at a discounted rate. For those of you who don't know, if you buy membership at a discounted rate, you can sometimes set it to renew at the same discounted rate each time. Like for example, if you buy a discounted $60 for a year membership, it'll renew at that $60 rather than the normal $80, which is a great way for multi-year members to save money. So buying the Novus bundles caused some players to lose their discounted yearly membership rate because it was overwritten by the bundle membership, which is obviously frustrating. So this same issue may happen again when purchasing the Wallaroo bundles, so just be aware of that. Anyway, to sum this all up, if after watching this video you're interested in buying the bundles, you do technically save a bit of money no matter what bundle you buy compared to buying all the individual items. However, the best value for your money is definitely the silver bundle with $20 to $30 in savings. If you're going to buy a six month membership soon anyway, absolutely buy this bundle while it's available because you get a discounted six month membership plus a bunch of crowns, the pet and the wombat beanie, all for less than just a regular six month membership, which is fantastic. Let me know what you all think of the Wallaroo bundles and if any are worth the price to you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I hope to see you out there in the spiral and happy questing.